Hey guys, so I always get asked, how do I keep my bike looking so clean? And as you can see right now, my bike is not clean at all. I just got done riding it the other day and it's been sitting in my garage for a day or so and I am finally getting around to cleaning it. So, being that so many of you have made compliments on my bike and how well I keep it maintained, I wanted to show you what I do to wash it. And I am very simple about it. I only use a couple of products and uh, a little bit of time and I keep it looking brand new. So it's well worth your time to um, wash it and maintain it and keep it looking good. And I'll show you exactly how I do that. Okay, so here's a few items that I use. I obviously have a pressure washer. I also have a foam cannon attachment for it. This helps immensely in getting uh, the bike completely soaked in foam. Um, also, I have a bottle of Dawn dish soap and water, just half and half mix, or not half and half, but um, a couple of uh, squeezes of dish soap, and then I just fill the water with, or the bottle with hot water. The next thing I have, this is what makes the bike look so good at the end, is this uh, Yama Lube spray polish and detailer. This stuff is amazing. Not only does it um, polish up the bike and make the plastics look good, but it also cleans so well. I don't know how it does it, but it cleans so well. Obviously some chain guard for when I'm done. I don't want my chain to rust, so I hit it. Um, I dry my chain and then I immediately hit it with the chain guard to keep it from rusting. And then a microfiber. I always hand dry the bike because in the end, just like washing a car, you need to hand dry it to get everything off of it. Um, and last but not least, we've got the scotch Bright pad. This is for scuffing up the frame to make it look brand new again, um, especially where your um, boots rub up against your frame and make it all black. This is the only way to get it off is hit it when it's wet and hit it when it's soapy. And when you rinse it off, it'll look like it's brand new. So now I'll show you guys how to do it. Okay, so first things first, with any wash, you're gonna go ahead and wet it down, knock all the heavy off. If I had mud on here, obviously I would get all that off first, um, give everything a chance to soak, and then at that point, you can go ahead and apply your soap. So we'll go ahead, rinse the bike off, and get all this dirt off of it. And one thing I forgot to mention real quick is make sure you put your muffler plug in if you have one. If you don't, just shove um, a plastic bag around it, tape it up, do something to protect the muffler. That way you don't get your packing all uh, saturated in water because at that point you've pretty much ruined your packing. So always plug that. The other thing is too, is I do not cover my air filter. Um, I don't have an air filter cover. I've never really had an issue with it, but I just make sure that I don't spray into these um, uh, holes here where the air inlet comes in to the air filter. So just be mindful of that. Some other bikes may have holes cut out, things like that, like the KTMs or the Huskies, and you definitely do not want to spray your air filter. So um, Twin Air makes a cap that goes over the intake box of the air filter, and uh, you can go ahead and purchase that, and that will completely protect it. But I don't, I don't usually have a problem with that. Plus, I either replace or clean my air filter periodically. Okay, so now we got the bike rinsed. Be mindful, do not spray your electronics, your CDI box, anything like that. And definitely do not just spray your chain, um, whether it's standard or no ring chain, you'll definitely get water in there and then the chain will start to rust. So now that I've got it pretty much sprayed off, you can see how clean it already came. Now I'm gonna take the foam cannon and I'm gonna completely soak this thing in soap and scrub it down. Okay, so the Dawn dish soap I use for areas on the engine like this, such as where the um, chain guard kind of come off and got all over the motor. 
So I'll just take this um, water and dish soap concentrate and I'll just spray this down along with the swing arm and the rear sprocket and chain guard. And that pretty much will clean everything off. Now Dawn dish soap is a degreaser so it helps get that off. Um, afterwards I'll go ahead and scrub this again with my brush and at the same time I also do my frame. So I'll spray my frame right here, come around, do the other side right here and you can see where my boot marks are and I will just go ahead and scrub that with the scotch Bright. Okay, that side's done. I can tell because it's starting to get black. Go over here to this side and scrub it. And any other parts that you want to look really, really good and clean, or scotch brighted, I guess, just go ahead and do that now while you got water, soap and water. So I usually do my brake pedal too, um, clean it up. While I'm right here, it takes just a second. And then the little part of my subframe right here. And then like I said, since I got that Dawn dish soap on there, I'll go ahead and scrub this. Um, get as much off as possible. Okay, so that's pretty much it. Now normally if I would have a um, dirtier bike, obviously I would hit it a lot more with water first, do a couple rounds of soap probably, do a little more scrubbing. This bike was pretty clean though, just basically had sand on it and silt. So um, also I would lay it down, put my handlebar on the stand and then spray the underneath of it, but it didn't get dirty underneath so everything was good that way the next thing i'm going to go ahead and do now is take a uh, microfiber and i'm going to hand dry everything on this bike Okay, I've got the bike pretty much hand dried for the most part. Um, there's still some water on the engine, bottom of the frame, things like that dripping, because obviously I can't get all of it. But now what I'm gonna do is take this uh, spray detailer. I'm gonna go ahead and spray the plastics, clean them up. I'm gonna do the seat. Um, a lot of the times I'll do my grips if they're really dirty, but these are brand new. I just put them on so they're not. Um, and my wheels, my swing arm. And then at that point I will go ahead start the bike up, let it run for a bit, and then lube the chain. And that will pretty much be the process. You just wanna really pay attention to the details here. The uh, cleaner will make all of this look even better than it does now. It's awesome stuff. Okay, so we're pretty much there. The very last thing I'm gonna do is uh, I take my blue cloth here, my blue shop towel, but I'm gonna go ahead, wipe off all the dirt and excess water that's on there, and then I'm gonna go ahead and spray it with my chain guard. All right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope this helped out. As you can see, you can really clean your bike up with just minimal tools. You don't even need the foam cannon. But yeah, that's pretty much a wrap. So if you guys liked the video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and we'll see you in the next one.